automatons say it right. Okay. They are called robots. Birdie's a racist. Bigot, actually, but, you know. I'm getting a call. Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father. Go away. But, uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valle de Land. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! Kate! What was the point of that phone call? It's just going through, I think it's just basically showing us all the people in her, like, cause look, see. It's people that she knows, like Olivia is one of her friends at, mm -hmm. at the office. So basically this is her work phone. It's got her boyfriend slash fiance, Dan, so he can call her. Because they seem to work together a bit. Olivia herself. Her mom in case of emergencies, and I'm guessing mom just use it no matter what. Because mom is mom. Mm hmm. <sighs> That's really heavy. I've got to get some help. I like, look at the forklift even has a little automaton thing going on with it. I love it. Oh, you crank the forklift and then it does the work! Oh my god, I love it! Oh my god, pretty! It's a little, it's a little automaton forklift. Yep. It is indeed a robot forklift. <laughs> I love how they made us listen to that entire thing. That that's how you tr roll. Will also. Okay, there we go. Huh. That's not weird. Okay, Kate to the front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even you noticed that, huh, Kate? You want to talk to it? You want to? Nope. Nope. Don't want to. Don't. <laughs> Doesn't want to address that. I. I. I can't blame her.
Oh, they're doing the enchanting music. That's a good sign. They really did make the most of this little soundtrack, huh? What? Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Birdie? Doom. What? What, Birdie? Why Doom? I heard the, the music tone, which always reminds me of, like, Doom Times or something. Yeah, okay, uh... He was... He... Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is Do you know doing. where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. Uh, that That's pretty Does cool. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course, he created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea ah. where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience Can you put a bullet in you? Then you'd meet your maker? You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? I do not Broken. understand. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. <laughs> oh, that's most bothersome. So that's what death is. Oh my god. That that is you gotta admit that's he, pretty he, cool. He he is way too cheery for the idea of never being completed. <laughs> He's like, oh well. Wh oh well, <laughs> fuck my life. Let's continue on. All he's missing is his I'll feet. Just uh, yeah, true, but at the same time, like, if for whatever reason Kate was not a frickin' uh, good human being, good human being, you are right. a very strange he, robot. He'd literally be Automatons stuck walking on his hands for the rest I'm of his sorry. life. I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. What? No, wait, what? 
Wait, did he actually explain the difference? Yes. He he just explained the difference. Automatons have a soul auxiliary. Huh. Okay. Okay. Can I be of use to you? <laughs> Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands <laughs> are model XZ2003. My feet are model XZ2005 underscore B. Be careful. The model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I must dance. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. Also, they give him clothes. Yes. Uh, Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Well, that was nice. Mm -hmm. So, Birdie, what is he? And oh, that's why that's why I could do the whole pulling that thing over there is because you need that for doing this. So I just preemptively did that. Mm. But yeah, do you, what makes them different from robots? What makes an automaton an automaton? It has a, it has a soul auxiliary. Exactly. So see, Birdie, now you can't just call them robots. I can. That's that's rude, Birdie. They have souls, you know. I have no idea where I need to go. Okay, so this is where I get the end product. Mm hmm There's a different window over there. So I'm exploring around and we're looking for a thing and I don't know. Oh, there's a door. That's a really old door. It's a water powered factory. Yep. Doesn't look like that works. Chain first? Yep. We got it. It's a robot hamster in a wheel. You pull the lever to release the robot hamster, which turns on the water wheel. Mm -hmm. Pull the lever, crank. This is just delightful. And things working now. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I just guess I go back in now. Okay. Yep. And 
I bet I know where we need to go to get... Dude, that's loud. It is a factory. That makes sense. And I bet I know where we need to go to plug this information in. Yep. The manager's office. Twenty minutes later. But wow. Hans built a robot with souls. Oh wait, no, there's nothing in here. It's probably next to the office. Probably this thing over here that I can go up to finally. Let's go up here. More stairs! <laughs> I just love that it's a hamster. to figure out what wood is. So it's dark brown. He was a blackish gray color if I remember right. That one. That's tan. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah one's trying, tan. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one's right because. That, that, let's go with that's. T that's definitely not white. That's modded brown. That's tan. That's white. Yeah, that, this is white. Okay, so this is. Dark brown. Dark brown. This is model brown. So that is tan. Okay, so you select the type you want, and you purchase something. Like Let's see how it works. That's a bird. Yes, indeed, a bird. Oh. Okay. I just. I just love it to see. The bird picks up the piece of lumber. I guess you do it. Where'd the boots go? Where'd the boots come from? What? And why are they both lefties? <sighs> okay. Well, what? I don't think they're both lefties. I think that was just... Then again, maybe they are. He's a very cheerful robot. See, I'm of his people, Bertie, so I can call him that. But you can't. That's just rude. Wait, so you're a robot? No. Now can you say you're of his people? I'm cheerful. Alright, 
Time to give Lieutenant Dan his legs. Technically, I think he's partially wood. Considering his legs are wood. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Cutscene! Oh, they're metal there, but the feet themselves are wood. Interesting. Click, click. So, some of his his clothes are somewhat a part of him. He gives a thumbs Allow up. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. I mean, uh, he was just flat out trained for that. What? Bad birdie. Thanks. <laughs> Instead of doing Siberia 2, next we're gonna do... We're gonna do... Three Nancy Drews. The greatest punishment. Let's get out of this factory. That's right. interesting. So basically, you just. You. Each of the production lines, you just set what you want it to do and it does it. <laughs> And the punch card sets the automatons to know what to do. Well, I guess there's only one path left to go. Yep. Train Depot! Birdie! Trains! Everybody loves trains. So you're going in for training now? I, I, I'm going to be training. Yes. No, I'm going to be training. Not not training, but training. Yes. But Birdie, I'm going to be training, not training. Yes. Which means I'm going to be on the train, training. For training. Yes. Yes. And Birdie's going to be practicing their Punch. deep breath exercises. Let's enter this train! I like trains. <laughs> I think I can hear Oscar whistling. Death music. find whoever's whistling here. Well, there's it's a janitor. Because Oscar's somewhere else. Or he's still here. He's probably in the cabin. Yeah. I do like that it gives us Full train station to explore.
Come on. Although we can't interact with the janitor. Mm. At all. Why not? <laughs> I don't know, Birdie. Oh, cool. So we can. Maybe we have to enter the train itself. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. <laughs> Kate I... was mostly doing to be nice. I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Roger, Only Roger. the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Really, Oscar, you're making me get a ticket. Yep. Birdie's making us get a ticket. Sounds about right. Birdie, he's the ticket vendor! <laughs> he's the ticket... He's the ticket vendor, Birdie! Look, also would not be surprised. <laughs> to be fair, but yeah. it's you? What can I do for you, madam? But, Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. <laughs> just, just give me the ticket. Uh, what can ticket. I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? You're being fined for trespassing. Ticket, Here's your ticket. Please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel then. Train ticket for the mechanical railway departing from Valadien with no. <laughs> this ticket is valid for one person and should be presented to any official of the mechanical railway when so required. Okay. Uh. Authorization for access to all or part of the movable and immovable estate constitute part of the inheritance, the Vorbok heritage. Description of the object one mechanical propulsion locomotive, including coaches, accessories, and driver. Wait, wait, wait. Birdie, mm -hmm. read this. He uh. also handed us the... He just handed us in... I guess whoever rode the train got it in the inheritance from Anna. Because we now have the notarized inheritance of the train. What? I guess? There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. <laughs> he 
he's enjoying this far too much. Oy vey. Come on, Birdie. He's been stuck up there for 72 hours. Let him have his fun, okay? Also, I want to point out Kate won't run around the train. <laughs> she just sort of saunters. This is something that we gotta get snapped by a notary. Well, we're getting a train thing approved. Oh hey, the water wheel's moving in the background now. Nice. That's a nice little touch that the water wheel's moving in the background. Little touches like that really do make the difference. I forgot the notary will be resting. out of ink. So that's what that ink bottle's for. No need to get this document stamped twice. It's already been authorized. Approved. It also uses that as a reward thing whenever you do something smart. Well, now we've been approved, and we have our ticket. So we're almost out of Valadien. Where do we go now? That's the only question, isn't it, Birdie? Where do we go from here? Where's our new magical reality taking us? Also, the Vorlberg factory is a part of the Vorlberg estate, which also includes the Vorlberg train station. Like, this family was really well off and weird. I think it's the Vela Dien train station, but it's on the Vorlberg estate. Mm -hmm. Behind a key that you need to be a Vorlberg to have, unless they leave the door open. But there's another way in. What? Uh. Let's go talk to Oscar and give him our items so we can get on the road. And then he'll be all like, and now you need your 70 part train ticket apparatus. What? Also, he's got a little mustache. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. 
Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. Here's the permit. I thought I would give you the permit afterwards, but okay. I guess you Here. need it first. This is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. Okay, and now we'll give him the ticket. And now he'll take us on a magical journey. There you are, right. Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. <laughs> departure preparation. Oh. <laughs> Stands there, stares into space. Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> okay, Oscar, okay. We'll play by your game. We'll be right back in a few, audience. Da-da-da!